Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 21st of 2022, well, it is titled the Butterfly Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is what we call the Butterfly Nebula, also known by the catalog designation of NGC 6302. And it is an example of a type of nebula that we call a planetary nebula. And that's not because it has anything to do with planets, but because some of the planetary nebula may have looked like systems that we see uh, through a telescope that may have looked like a planetary system beginning to form. And in this case, what a planetary nebula is, is actually the end state of a star, much like our own sun when it reaches the end of its life. The core collapses down into a white dwarf star, very compact star about the size of Earth, and the outer layers are expelled out into space. Now in this case, we're looking at it in a, what we call a false color image, looking at specific regions of light, and that is oxygen in the blue, hydrogen in green, and nitrogen in red. So we look at those three specific wavelengths to kind of map out the gases within the nebula a little better. Now, as I said, this is what eventually the sun will become, but not for many billions of years. First, it has to exhaust its supply of hydrogen in its core, and at that point, its core will collapse and the outer layers will expand, making it a red giant star. Later, it will become an even larger star, a supergiant. And at that point, it will have engulfed Earth completely. It will be larger than the orbit out to the orbit of Earth. And, and eventually, those outer layers become unstable and will be expelled out into space. And that's what we see here from this star. Now here we note that they're expelled in the butterfly pattern. Now some nebulae give us a much more uh, bubble kind of pattern where it seems to be a little more uniform. However, that may depend on the actual situation with the star or stars at the center. If it is in a multiple star system, it may give us a more complex pattern than things as we see here, as we see in some of the simpler planetary nebulae. So the actual structures and things going on within the system may make a difference when we are looking at what the end state will look like. But here we get a look ahead, a little peek as to what our sun might look like to a distant astronomer some five, six to six billion years from now as it reaches the end of its life. So that was our picture of the day for November 21st of 2022. It was titled The Butterfly Nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.